Stampers, it's Kim Vogel with the Basement Barn Stampers and today I'm going to share with you a really cute project that I created using the Snail Mail product suite that is in our Stampin' Up! January through June catalog and I love how this turned out. It's a cute little box. Now these little boxes are called Pizza Box and they are available for purchase in our annual catalog. If you click on the link in the description of this video, I will list all of the supplies that I used to make this cute little box, um, decorate it all up cute, and it's um, all the products that you'll need to make the coordinating four little note cards that are inside of this awesome little box. So let me share with you first the products that I used to create the this little box. The Snail Mail product suite is so fun and so unique and so different than any of the other Stampin' Up! product that we have. So what makes this so unique is that it's just really, really fun and something different to send out um, your cards that we're using. So many times we use floral and butterflies and things like that. And this set is intended simply for happy mail. Who does not like to receive happy mail in their mailbox? So some of the sentiments on this stamp set even say happy mail enclosed. Just a little note maybe to send to someone to let them know that you're thinking of them and cute little stamped images to go with it. The coordinating designer series paper is likewise just as cute. You can see some of the patterns down here. Now the neat thing is is that all of these um, or some of these patterns on this paper cut out with our coordinating snail dies as do some of the images on our stamp set cut out with those coordinating dies as well. So it's absolutely just a cute suite to use. I've used a lot of my paper on my projects, but I do have some um, strips of the different patterns here to share with you. So you can see here you got one with the little hearts, and here you have mushrooms. There's no dye to cut out those mushrooms, but those are pretty easy to cut out with just a simple pair of paper snips. Here you have some with the little snails on. There is a dye to cut out that snail. And then on the back side you have um, a regular pattern. So again, one of the sides <clears throat> has your images and then the other side has more of just like your your simple patterns this little mushroom paper is really cute as well um, followed by on the up opposite side this one and I have found myself gravitating to this paper because you can see here on my box that that is simply cut out using one of the dies that coordinates with the stamp set and the dies that is not stamped so nothing on this little box front is stamped so cool and then you have this one with little envelopes and um, packages. And then that one. And look at these cute little snails on this. It's so darn cute. Now this paper is $11.50 and you get um, 12 different sheets, six designs. They're double-sided so you have um, a different pattern on each side. Um, so it makes it very versatile for different things that you might want to do. Now, like I said, these pizza boxes come in a package where all you have to do is fold them up. Um, they're very, very easy to fold up using the little score guides um, and folding them up. And so I'm going to share with you some of the measurements for making this awesome little um, box. So for the top of the box, I used a piece of three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch um, uh, cardstock, followed by some of the three by three inch designer series paper. I'm going to actually bring in a pizza box to kind of show you how to fold it up. Um, so they come flat, like I mentioned. I didn't think I had one sitting here, but I do. So let me share with you how easy this is to fold up. So all you're going to do is you're going to fold in. Um, now this is food safe. So if you want the, the, there's a glossy side and a matte side. So if you fold it with the gloss side on the inside, it is then food safe because um, with it, this glossy, it kind of um, helps with any of the, like the oils from cookies or things like that. But you're just going to fold in on every single one of these little score lines. Um, really quick and simple and easy here. And then you just fold this in and then this comes over the top and just goes right inside there. There's little hooks in there for you to push that down in. And then this, I make sure I get them in there, right? And then this just folds in like that and this will come up and over. So it literally folds up very easily um, just by doing a little bit of scoring on those lines, okay? So from there, we're going to go ahead and decorate this box. So I'm going to adhere my three by three piece of designer series paper onto my three and a quarter by three and a quarter piece. And then this is going to layer perfectly on top of this little box. Um, now this box is called a little pizza box. That's why I keep referring to it as a pizza box. But it's also perfect for um, little three by three note cards, which is what I put in this box for my project today. 
From there, I kind of layered some of the different dies. This, is, this you can cut out of the paper with a die. And then you have this right here. And then this is one of the mushrooms. And I simply put that with a little circle um, behind it so that you can see the little mushroom. And what I want to get to at this point is the, the how easy it is to put the note cards together. So let me bring in my note cards. There will also be a, a link to the blog, my blog post um, for this project, which will list all of the different measurements in more detail for you to be able to copy these little note cards. Now for the note cards, I use 12 by 12 um, Whisper White, actually basic white cardstock. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna cut that three by six, you're gonna score it at the three inch line so that it becomes the perfect size of three by three. And then I have um, some of the cardstock that is two and three fourths by two and three fourths, followed by some designer series paper. So this you know, has the little snails. So I just put a little sentiment that says you snailed it. Um, that comes from the awesome stamp set. Now you can get the stamp set and coordinating dies together for only $44. Um, but again, you're gonna wanna get a pack of that designer series paper because it really complements and coordinates very well with this entire product suite too. Um, the next one I created is this little one right here. And this is actually a little die that you cut out to be able to make the envelope. So let me show you the, the die and how it, um, how it comes when you cut it out. So you run the die through your um, Stampin' Emboss die cut machine, and this is what you end up with. And then from here, you just simply fold it to make an envelope. So you can fold it this way if you'd like, which is the way I did it, and then I just cut this off. Or you can fold these two flaps in first and that one up. You could also fold this one back if you wanted to and, and, and put a little glue dot or dimensional to hold it. You could completely close your envelope. But I chose to cut it off and then just put the word hello coming out of it. Now this one is stamped from the stamp set using some real red, um, some real red ink. So that one I did indeed um, do some stamping. And then I topped off all of these cute little note cards with some of the red rhinestones that are in our annual catalog. And then here you have this little one as well, Happy Mail Enclosed. It's just a little note card. So if you're sending somebody a little gift, you can put a little note card with it. And then this one right here is also designer series paper that I just cut to be two and a half by two and a half. And you can see it's got the paper already has the little snails in there. Another little one that says just hello on it. And then in our annual catalog, we sell the um, three and a quarter by three and a quarter, maybe they're three by three, um, whisper white um, envelopes. I keep saying whisper white, they're now called basic white. Um, and these um, little cards will fit into here perfectly. So if you're giving somebody a little gift for their birthday, Day or whatever, um, you have envelopes that go with it for you to put their little name on. Um, the other neat thing is that these make great little gifts if you wanted to give somebody a little gift, you know, going to visit them, they've invited you out over for dinner or you haven't seen them in a while and you just want to send a little something to them. Um, this makes the most perfect little gift to be able to give. Um, and they will absolutely love it. So I hope that you've enjoyed um, me showing you today this awesome little project that I created. I'm using the Snail Dip Bundle, and I hope that you consider adding this bundle to your collection today. Um, minimal stamping to be able to get you some really awesome little note cards um, and the ones that are really, really unique and cute. So thank you all so very much for joining me today. Uh, I'm glad that you stopped by, and I look forward to having you back real soon. Bye.